Well, it's another day and I am spending some time cleaning up my pieces and parts. I've cleaned up both of the drive shafts and the pressure plate, um, just a number of items. And I'm kind of at this point where I am stuck at the rear engine mount off the top of the transmission. You've got this engine mount here. This attaches to the, actually it mounts this way. This part on the bottom attaches to the transmission down below. And then this part up here is what's attached to the underbelly of the, the van. This is how you're supposed to release it, is release this bolt here. It should pull out and then the actual mount remains attached to the transmission. That did not happen because this bolt is basically fused inside the, the rubber bushing. This is my replacement one ordered from Toyota directly. But the internals of this is steel. It has fused to that bolt. So that it, I literally have taken a hammer, I've taken my, my impact driver, I have done everything I can possibly do to try to beat this thing out. So what I'm gonna do to remove this is I am going to cut through the top plate to where I can clear enough space to where I can get in there and cut through and just you know break basically break the bolt off so get ready for some sweet slow-mo when you're doing this stuff don't forget to put on your eye protection and your hearing protection very important and i would say wear yourself some gloves That's pretty hot. It's burning a hole through the paper towel. There's the end of my bolt. If you have to order one of these, part number 12303-54010, bracket. It's an original Toyota genuine part. So it did cost me a pretty penny, uh, but I'd rather have it just right and know it's gonna fit. I've got through just like so. Well, I don't feel like being under here, but I don't have much choice being that we've got good weather. I'm gonna try to see about putting the rest of this clutch back together. So we'll see how it goes. So as you'll notice, pop this off. I've got the seal is all in place. Uh, I've got my um, flywheel bolts. I'm gonna yank these guys out and get them ready to reinstall because my flywheel got turned and it's in beautiful shape. I double check this uh, rear main seal. I don't wanna take any chances with it. Um, being put in wrong. I had originally put grease on this outer edge because the instructions are not very precise. They don't tell you. It just says put MP grease, multi-purpose grease, on the seal and press it into place. So being that this part spins here, um, 
really and truly the outside edge doesn't really have to have any grease as far as any kind of spinning there's no movement here but there is movement on the internal the inside so with that being the case I probably did not have to grease this outside edge I just really needed to grease the inside so I'm wondering if that's going to cause any issues and I really don't want to have to open this back up for no good reason with that being the case I very well might pop this open and clean that grease out. I don't know that it's an issue and I don't really have anybody to ask. So, we'll see. clean off this outside edge of grease that I put on there because I don't think I needed it on that I'm gonna also clean the grease off of this inside edge right here like so and I'm just gonna press it all the way in till it seats next thing I'm going to do is go back and put a tiny bit of this grease on the inside of this guy. That's I think where the grease needs to be. It's on the inside of the connection for the flywheel. Okay, cool aroma. You just have to be careful putting it on so that it seats properly. and then make sure your paper gasket is exactly where it should be. What was it I said the first time? 13 foot pounds, I think. I'll look it up. and torqued these guys down to 14 foot pounds. So now I'm gonna reinstall this little guy, the dust gasket. <coughs> so the next thing I'm gonna do is put the rear end plate back in place. Um, and this, if you remember when I took it apart, it simply has these two bolts that are holding it in place. So, upper right, upper left. I have cleaned this guy off real nicely. Okay. I wonder if I can just do the same thing with it. 13 pounds. Because it's going to be sandwiched anyway. The next thing to put on is the flywheel, and I'm going to set it up in place. Cool. Awesome. we got to line up the bolt holes. Now, with this guy, um, I had it turned, so I took it down to my local O'Reilly's, and the guy did a, a turn on it for me. Um, one thing he had to do was pull these pins, the three locking pins or line-up pins, um, so I just had to take a hammer and tap them back in place. That was pretty easy to do. There are a couple of hot spots that are still there. And hopefully they are pretty minor. Um, I'm assuming that's not going to be a real problem. So that's pretty cool that it turned out as good looking as it did. I'll try to post up a picture of what it looked like before. I didn't take a really good photograph, but... Um, I do have a reference. It'll show you kind of how, how it looked before. So before I put these bolts in place um, to hold the flywheel on, I'm gonna put some thread locker on the bolts themselves. 
um, and then that will be an added security with this. And in order to torque these bolts down, you have to be able to lock the flywheel because the flywheel wants to spin. As you're torquing it, it wants to spin. Took my long screwdriver, put it across these two pins and wedged that against the, the muffler. So in doing that, I was able to create like a locking point. And because this is flat, it worked out just fine. So in going through here and do this at a, at a star pattern, you wanna tighten this down to 61 pounds. I've already got it there, but I'm just gonna click it all the way around so you can see what I'm doing. So, and it will feel like to a person like me who's not familiar with these torque wrenches, it feels like you're gonna break something. But it did prove the fact that I am where I need to be, which is pretty awesome. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. 61 foot pounds all the way around. Lock it with a screwdriver. One thing you're going to want to do before you close this thing up is spray off um, just so you don't have any kind of contaminants or anything in there that's going to cause any problems. Um, you want to spray off your uh, flywheel with some brake cleaner. I'm using throttle, bar, throttle body air intake cleaner. It's basically the same stuff from what I've been told. Try not to breathe it in if you can help it. It's nasty stuff. Now with these guys, you don't want to contaminate them at all. So you want to um, install this in such a way to where you don't really touch the um, friction surface at all. And you want that to be flush against there. And then you want to take your clutch pressure plate and install him over your centering mechanism. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. No, that's not right. It goes like that. There we go. It's that way. And that just gets tapped on. Cool. It's nice and clear. Is that supposed to be like that? Then you can take your bolts and pop them in. These guys tighten to 14 foot pounds. Hey, I'm done. Take my centering tool out. All right, so I've got all these bolts torqued to spec. Everything is in place. This guy's sealed up. Should be good to go another day down see you on the next day